In this video, we're going to walk through a simple flow we can use to retrieve metadata from each PDF attachment in a SharePoint list. I'm going to create an instant cloud flow for a batch retrieval type of operation, but you can just as easily create an automated flow following similar logic if you want to passively get metadata when new PDFs are added to that same list. First things first, I'm clicking on the Create tab and selecting the Instant Cloud Flow option. Then I'm picking the option to manually trigger my flow so I can have full control over my data. On the Flow Diagram page, our first step is to get the list we want to retrieve attachments from. Let's add an action, and then let's type Get Lists into the search bar. We should immediately see the Get Lists action come up for the SharePoint connector, and we want to select that action. Here, we can select the site address for the list we want from a dropdown, and we're good to go. Now that we've retrieved our list, we can now retrieve our list items. Just like before, let's add a new action, and then let's search for the Get Items action. To configure this action, let's go ahead and select our SharePoint site address again, and then let's select the list name we're targeting from the second dropdown. After that, we should click Show All and take a quick look at the advanced parameters. Here we can limit our item retrieval action in various ways, which of course depends on our particular needs. I'm simply going to open the Limit Columns by View tab and select All Items. And then I'm going to select the Limit Entries to Folder option and follow the folder path until I can specify the exact list folder I'm targeting. With our list items available in our flow, we can now get the attachments from those items. To do that, let's add a new action, and then let's search for an action called Get Attachments. Let's once again select our site address and list name from the first two dropdowns. Next, let's fill in our item ID using dynamic content from our Get Items action. Once we do that, Power Automate will automatically wrap our action in a for each control to cycle through each item on our list when we run our flow. Now we're in the home stretch. We've retrieved file attachment identifiers from our list items, but we still need the actual file contents themselves to retrieve file metadata. From within the for each control, let's add a new action, and then let's type get attachment content into the search bar. Let's select that action when we see it, and then let's do the usual site address and list name selection once again. Below that, let's select our item ID value once again, and then let's grab the file identifier value from our get attachments action in our final field. Just like before, Power Automate will wrap this action in its own for each control. Now we have the file bytes we need to get metadata from the PDFs on our specified SharePoint list. There are a couple ways we can do this, depending on our preferences. On this channel, however, we're of course going to handle our metadata retrieval action using the Cloudmersive PDF connector. Within the Get Attachment content for each control, let's add a new action, and then let's type Cloudmersive into the search bar. Below, we should see the Cloudmersive PDF connector pop up with the pink logo. If we haven't used this connector before, we need to authorize our connection with a free API key to make our API connector requests. We can get one of those by registering a free account on the Cloudmersive website. Free API keys will allow a limit of 800 API calls per month with no additional commitments, and our total will simply reset the following month once we reach it. If we don't see the Get PDF Metadata action right away, we can click See More and find it right around the upper middle part of our alphabetical list. To configure this action, we just need to provide the file bytes and file names. 
we can satisfy the first field with the value attachment content from our get attachment content step. And then we can satisfy the second field with the display name value from the get attachment step. This action retrieves each line of our metadata object as dynamic content in our flow, so we can use it however we want. We could, for example, update our list items with document metadata. If we add a new action in the same for each control, then search for the update item action, and then configure our site address, list name, and item IDs like before, and then click show all in our advanced parameters, we can customize an advanced parameter called title, which is the name each item displays when we look at our list in SharePoint. If we fill this with dynamic content from our metadata retrieval step, we can use the author of the attached document in our title, and we could concatenate that with any other metadata that was important to us. After we save our flow, we can run it as many times as we want to update each list item with PDF metadata. Like I mentioned earlier, we can just as easily create an automated flow with similar logic to autonomously update each time a new PDF is added to our list. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Power Automate tips and demonstrations.